Hello everybody, Spotted Gecko here again, bringing you another video for the game World of Warships Legends. Today, we are going to be looking at these Italian destroyers. We're in the north map here, and we're going to play the tier 7. I've got the tier 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, but I think a lot of people out there might be interested in this tier 7 destroyer, the Cuniberti. Now, first off, the Italian, these Italian destroyers certainly are not the best in the game. But you know what? They certainly are very unique in the game and that's nice for destroyer players i'm not a dd main i'm a cruiser and a battleship main and i play the dds for something different and i do enjoy them i just enjoy cruisers and battleships more but i know the importance of the dd in the game so right now we're going to first talk about the traits and do check out other ccs that are talking about destroyers maybe they can help you um, with whatever your questions are as well First off, three traits. And the first one makes her quite unique. And that is the exhaust smoke generator, which as you know for the Italian ships, you can go at full speed and that smoke will cover you. Really nice to have. And you get four in the loadouts. Her other trait, which is beautiful, I think, for the destroyers, is the ability to utilize SAP shells. You have a choice, SAP or HE. You can switch back and forth. But it's nice to have that choice. You have three dual 120 millimeter guns, 9.8 ra uh, range, 5.7 reload, HEs around 1900. The SAP shells do about 3,000. So you can't go wrong there. Now, that's the Bismarck. He's probably going to turn in, is my guess. We can always just flood the water here. Let's see, is he going to keep turning? Maybe. And we're actually going to make a turn here. And we're going to put some more torps in the water. Okay. So we can talk about torps initially in a moment. But her other trait is a, uh, a flaw exposed, which simply means below average concealment. But you can fix that by putting your uh, other uh, commanders on here, right? Now, HP for this ship, 17,500. Torpedoes, which is launched off. We all know Italian destroyers and ships have notoriously slow torpedoes. Same goes for the uh, destroyers. Just not as bad, I guess you could say. Uh, two quad 533s. Let's put the exhaust smoke generator on. I was talking too much. We're going to save our butts here. There we go. That helps significantly. And um, we're going to sit here now and hopefully heal. Uh, 76 uh, reload damage of only 10,000. So relatively low yield. 12 kilometer range and 56 knots. So still bloody slow, but oh well, what can you do? It's Italian boats, right? They don't know how to make speedy torpedoes, it seems. Now, what else we have here is AA. We were just being attacked by those aircraft. It has horrible AA, rated at 15. So you're not going to be shooting down very many aircraft with this thing. You're going to stay away from it as much as possible. Speed though, 39 knots. That's really nice to have. Okay, let's heal that now and get our butts out of here. Loadouts, we talked about it. Exhaust smoke generator, four of them. Engine boost, you get four as well. So that is the cutie birdie in a nutshell. Like I said, she is not... I would say she's an average destroyer at tier seven. But her uniqueness is what people are going to play it for. Exhaust smoke generator and SAP shells. So let's see how she uh, plays out for the rest of this match here. Now I have no one really over here protecting my ass. We have a destroyer probably sitting right in there. There. Oh, it's a bloody Friesland of all things, right? Yeah, you know, I'd be just basically signing my death certificate if I started opening up on a Friesland. <laughs> but you know what? We could flood some torpedoes in there. And maybe we'll get lucky and hit the damn thing, eh? You never know. <laughs> So we'll throw you got a nice arc on there, nice wide arc. So nothing wrong with that. And I think I can outrun the Friesland. I just can't remember what its speed is right now. Now we know the uh, Friesland's still firing from in smoke. He's gonna have to dodge those torpedoes. We're gonna hit the we're gonna hit the engine boost again here. There's the key. We might even get a hit on the key here. If we're lucky, we can see how these 
Low yield torp, you know, it's only 10,000, like watch. Oh, he dodged it. He got lucky there. Really was hoping for a hit. Oh, we got a hit. I wonder what we hit. Maybe we hit that Friesland. That would be really nice if we did. Now, like I said, it's a 75 second reload, so we already got this thing reloaded. We're going to put more torps in the water. There they go. There's a Friesland out there. Now, what can we do? We can go for the Bismarck as well. Okay, we got our slow moving 56 knot torpedoes in the water. We just might get lucky and hit that key. You'll have to wait and see. Now, uh, like I mentioned, I have a gunboat commander on here right now. Uh, the torpedo boat commander, the new guy, which I also have, um, he gets my reload for my torpedoes down to 65 and boosts my, ra uh, boosts my range, I believe, a little bit and gets my, uh, my speed for my torpedoes up to 60. So do, do realize that. I also get an overall speed boost as well. No, I just got bloody uh, spotting. I put the exhaust smoke generator on. And my torpedoes ended up missing the key. He really flubbed that, didn't he? I'm hoping that um, I can get my torpedoes off and out of spotting range, which is what I'm going to have to do at 5.1. And I need to get a little further away from that key before I throw my torpedoes at him. Now, is he going to end up turning completely? It looks like he's going to. Fuck, damn it, I got spotted. I don't, um, I don't know what I'm spotted by. It's because you have that very bad concealment. I am going to have to simply do a little bit of uh, dodging back and forth. Like I said, it's not the... Uh, the quickest boat by any means. I am trying. But once I get my engine hit, I'm... Okay, we got our boost now. That just might get me out of uh, the, uh, the 6 here. 6.1. Like I said, you have a real bad concealment. Which I have to say sucks. But you know what? Luckily, so far... These guys aren't shooting very well. Now I'm at 6.4. In fact, I don't remember what my concealment is. Let me do it a little quick. Okay. We should be out of range now. Like, see, you, it's really, really bad concealment. So. I gotta get my thing up to speed again because that was hurting. I think the key is gonna turn, yep. 7.2. I need to get a little bit further out. So that's the one thing about these Italian boats. Is the, this one especially. The exposed nature. That's not good. Really, it's not good. We'll uh, throw some torps at this guy. And plus the fact that these things are pretty damn slow. So... I don't think I'm going to be playing the Italian Destroyers very often. But, yeah, you never know. Just try to keep my butt alive here. I don't even want to fire on these guys at the moment. Put my smoke generator up, and we'll start shooting. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. That's our SAP shells going off. Almost got my torpedo back there. There they go. That's that one. Okay. Get another shot off. Wait. I love the exhaust smoke generator at speed, though. That is just awesome. Now I'm not going to fire. Just going to wait for these things to roll up again. We might get luck, hit that Bismarck if he keeps going in that direction. Who knows? Who knows, right? Let's see if he'll put some in the water for the key. Who knows what the key's gonna do? 
Now let's keep these guys spotted. And I know there's a Friesland around here somewhere, so I'll try and keep moving away from it. Hey, look at that! We got ourselves the Bismarck. There we go. So the Kitty Birdie gets its first sinking. Hey, lucky. <laughs> I think we can simply hit the key now. Oh, that Friesland. Was that, or is that the Akasuki? Which one is it that's left? It's the Akasuki. Oh, Friesland's already dead. Good. Well, we're not going to hit... Uh, we're not going to hit the key. Which is really unfortunate. Okay, there goes some more torpedoes at 56 knots. <laughs> uh. yeah, I want to put SAP shells on that uh, key now. And we'll see what happens. But the problem is there's the other destroyer in the smoke and he'll start shooting me. So I don't want to do that. We'll just keep them spotted. And we'll see if these uh, SAP... Or not the SAP... We'll see if those slow moving torques can actually hit that uh, that key if we're lucky. You know, they are on target. So we just might get a hit here. Now they can see those torpedoes at about 1.1 kilometers detection. So there is time for the key to dodge. But I think just oh crap. Just one hit would be an oh, we got we got the key. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to shoot the Akasuki here with our SAP shells in smoke. And we should be able to sink it. Beautiful, these SAP shells. Gotta love them. There they go. We got that guy now, too. All we got left is one battleship and a carrier. Now, we're, having, we're actually having a pretty good match with the uh, destroyer here. We're just not getting any damage records or experience records that's for sure but you know what three torpedo hits we got three sinkings i am spotted here by those aircraft i'd be surprised if we actually shoot one down with my with my rating of 15. just try to look for him i don't know where that damn carrier is gotta be around here somewhere I'm like way over at the edge of the map now. I gotta turn around and get the heck out. Get the heck back. Anyway, we did our job. Well, now I do know that you guys can access these uh, early access Italian boats through what's that new uh, new thing that um, Wargaming was telling us about is the random bundles, which you can see what you're gonna get before you purchase it. So I think they're like, what, 750 doubloons uh, per purchase? And then you have access to those Italian potential destroyers. And so we'll have to see um, what, the, what the community thinks about those. Like, I really don't know. I try not to buy bundles if I can help it. I will, I will purchase a limit, a number, like maybe 5 or 10. That would be it. Otherwise, I don't want to go all crazy on them. But, um, yeah, we'll see. I get, um, you guys let me know in comments if there's anybody out there who really enjoys playing Italian destroyers. You're going to have access to that new Italian commander through that calendar. What's his name again? I forget what it is, but I have him. And uh, he's your basically your torpedo boat commander. And he's not, he's not too shabby. He, he's your basic torpedo boat commander. But um, it's nice. I just like the idea that we have a full Italian fleet now. Destroyers, cruisers, and battleships. And access to tier 8s, which is great. So... Now we're seeing more and more of this uh, game really, really beginning to fill out. Like, I know a lot of you guys have been around since this game started, like myself, based back in, 19, in 2019. And we've accumulated a lot of ships by then, and a lot of veteran players. So hopefully we'll see more of the, uh, the Pan-Asians, Pan-Europeans start coming out as well. We'll just have to wait and see. Well, we're just going to keep sailing along here. we still got a minute 26 left to... Uh, and we're not even winning the match yet. Ah. I... Alrighty. Let's see what we got here. Battle end. Let's just check out the results quickly. You're not going to get any great games in these ships, that's for sure. Uh, teamwork. Yeah, we got half. We're, we're middle of the pack. 16-22. I'll say that's a pretty good average game for a Tech Tree Destroyer. And not and that for a first look at it, it's only like the second or third match I've had in it, so can't go wrong there. 